What's up guys, Desert B here. We're playing some more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We just had a lot of information revealed to us all at once and we finally got that paraglider. So we're about to take our first flight out this window. I think we'll head uh, straight for the dueling peaks, I guess. We'll... Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll go um, in the general direction where the game wants you to go and see what there is to explore along the way. I know there's there's a few pit stops I'm sure we'll probably be making. So we're still on the plateau, didn't quite make it off there. Let's just get over here to the edge. Leaving the plateau is always just the greatest feeling. Finally out of the little tutorial mode and free to do honestly anything you want. The game is wide open. All right, are we ready? I rule, here we come. Yeah. And there it is. Hyrule Kingdom. We are in it. So, let's see. Yeah, let's head over toward the uh, Dueling Peaks. I know there's a tower over here that we'll get. Uh, a couple of shrines. Holy. That's a stone talus. Which, like... Hmm, what do my weapons look like right now? The thing about the stone talus is that they can they can take a lot of damage. Like, look at that lifeline. And I don't know that I have strong enough weapons for this guy. But let's see what the uh let's see. Let's see what the hammer does. Oh man, and it's the worst kind too. The kind with the 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 weak point on his backside. Like, those are horrible. Yee! Oh my gosh. Uh oh. <laughs> I got crunched. Wow. Awesome. Was this my second death, I believe? That's fine. I really don't like the ones with the health on the back of them, though. I guess let's... I don't know if I want to do that again. Oh. Oh, here's all the um, DLC side quests coming in. There's a bunch, so get ready. Ancient Mask. We'll be getting all these, too. These are fun to have. They're like little collectibles. Twilight Relic. <laughs> The Phantasma. I forget kind of which one some of these are. Horse Rumors. Royal Guard Rumors. Merchant Hood. Kind of a weird place for a crate. Let's see if we can climb this. You actually use less stamina if you just just climb as opposed to jumping and climbing. You'll use so much more stamina. Wow, look at how fast those clouds are moving. It seems like a storm is coming in. Oh, we can see a tower and a shrine over there on the mountainside. Made that easy. This is why I always do stamina upgrades before hearts. Oh, we got a sapphire. Nice. Okay. Let's get back on track here. Oh, look. Here's a big moblin. I don't know that we've seen those yet. Here's some... Coblins sleeping in the grass. Oh, and a shrine. Here's some... Uh, ore as well. Flint. 
So we can make fires. Flint and opal. The Vashkala Shrine. Let's go in here. After you leave the plateau... I mean, some of the shrines are definitely super easy, but I do feel like they kind of increase in difficulty once you get off the plateau. Swimming in cold water will lower your body heat and cause you to take damage. What do we have? Let's see what this one's called. The wind guides you. I think... Yeah, I remember this. This is the one... I believe there's a treasure chest that I can just never figure out how to get. More amber, I swear. There's so much amber in treasure chests. I don't think it's even worth that much. I feel like it's worth like 30 rupees. Yeah, that treasure chest right there. I just really have no idea how to get it. Maybe if we just run and jump. Oh, wow. First try. <laughs> Nailed it. A soldier's claymore. Let me see if I have anything I want to get rid of. Two-handed weapons, I'm sure I've said this before. See, I already... Oh, this is a travels cl traveler's claymore. Let's ditch that and take what's in the chest. I really don't love two-handed weapons. But it's nice to have a couple of them in your inventory. Bam. That was easy. Let's get the orb and get out of here. Starting our orb count all over again. Back to one. Only four Korok seeds, too. I'm going to need... I'm going to need a bunch of those for inventory upgrades. I'll definitely be on the lookout for those. Yeah, so as I was saying before, once we get up to um, kind of like our first town, we will kind of get started on uh, the more like main part of the mission and stuff in the game and there's tons of ways to play this game you uh you don't have to follow any kind of a guide or anything like that you can just kind of run around and do whatever you want um what i want to do is use the memories to sort of guide my path so we're going to be watching the memories in chronological order and i really think that that helps out with um understanding the story and Hey, don't be rash. <laughs> I'm young, but you're even younger. I'm trying my best out here, but I get the feeling you're going to end up trying even harder in this world. That's the feeling I get when I look at your face, but maybe I'm nuts. Ah. You're fine. Just don't be so careless. There are too many enjoyable things in the world to gamble with your life. Wow. He thinks I'm going to jump in the river. Nah, we're good, man. I just woke up. Don't ever do something like that again, got it? You almost gave me a heart attack. Seriously. Huh? We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you came at a good time. By the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? We did. They popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that's happened. Those long, deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. Uh. You know what this means, don't you? The end is here. 
With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? What thing? I'm talking about that guardian, of course. Haven't you heard the old stories about Hyrule? See that thing over there? The one shaped like an overturn overturned urn? That is what I'm talking mm. about. Did you know some of them can move? One of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. This one? No, it was a different one. That one was closer to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure that was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. But I somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods. You think it was my lightning fast reflexes that saved me? Ha, ah, I wish. Truth is, I just got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around the castle. Be careful. Thank you for the info. There's a little fire. You can chill. Let's see. Where shall we go? Oh, there's a horse stable way over there. Let's head for the tower, I think. And maybe take out a couple of Bokoblin camps or something. I know there's a Korok. There's an, actually two over here. We'll grab those on the way. My stamina. Here we go. So these uh, yellow flowers that kind of stand out from everything else. These are little Korok puzzles. Uh-oh. Who's throwing rocks down the hill? Oh, cute. Blue nightshade. Pretty. These flowers are as big as me. You gotta kind of listen for where it pops up. And then it turns white when it's the last one. Yeah, ha, ha Can we just take a minute to consider how giant this tree must have been when it was alive? Like, look at this thing. So, I guess it fell that way. Wow. It's like a, an ancient tree. Well, let's go check out this Bokoblin camp. How many do we have here? We've got the one as a lookout up here. Uh-oh. I think it heard me. Let's, uh, we got a really nice bow. Yeah. He's on alert. I think we'll just get up here and snipe him. Oh, there's three. Let's take out the small guys. Uh oh. Oh, he's got a big club. Missed that one. I always try to get the flurry rushes. But. It's only a level six. Nice. After the first few Bokoblin camps, I mean, they don't really have great loot, honestly. Oh, I got a single rupee. So after the first few, when I kind of have, you know, enough weapons and... There's better places to find loot like this. And these guys, yeah, there are weapons and let me see if I have shields. Are these spiked? Nope, just a regular Boko shield. See, they're kind of lame. Nice. I'll take the rupees, though. 
<laughs> we need rupees before we go to the next town. Let's break open the rest of these crates. Nice. I like that we're finding rupees. Oh, yeah. I left some arrows on the ground over here, too. I think my bow inventory is full. Okay. We got some arrows and some rupees and food. So, I mean, that's worth it to me, honestly. More worth it than the enemies. Or even that opal or whatever it was we got in the chest. So we're going to have to cross this river to get to that tower over there. However, look at this chest. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. Let's try stasis. How do I do stasis again? Not like that. Let's see if that'll get some air. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> An opal. And then, uh, let's see. I don't want to use my nice bow on these guys. There's one more. An armored carp. Calcium deposits in the scales of this ancient fish make them as hard as armor. Cooking it into a dish will fortify your bones, temporarily increasing your defense. And then we got an octorok tentacle. Uh, it's too acidic for cooking, but it's highly valued as an ingredient for elixirs. Let's get this one. An octorok eyeball. And Octo Balloons. These are good to have in your inventory. Let's go ahead and grab the tentacle as well. Look at this little thing. A sneaky river snail. When cooked into a dish, it heightens your senses so you can move silently. And here's the other Korok seed that I wanted to grab. Anytime you see a boulder like this, be suspicious. It's probably a Korok. Yeah, ha ha. This one's got a long face. We're up to six seeds. Nice. Oh, look, here's another Korok. Oh, just kidding. I thought it was a little windmill. It's just a mighty thistle. Contains a compound that increases attack power when cooked into a dish. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore the camp for now. I know that they have a cooking pot, but I believe there's a cooking pot right uh, straight ahead right there. There's also something over here. But what I'm focused on currently is getting across this river. I think the most narrow part looks like it's right here. What is that in the water? Oh, is that that thing? Oh my gosh, is that that thing that I uh, blasted away a minute ago? Wow, that's crazy. It is. It's insane that it doesn't just like despawn. So like I said earlier, or maybe last episode, best way to cross a river right here. I have a feeling that thing might break my ice. Let's see what happens. No, it doesn't. Wow. Anything in this grass? I mean, if you've played older Zelda games, you know. Cutting grass sometimes can yield you some interesting things. Uh-oh. But so far, I think all I'm getting here are branches. 
We have company. Do I have any spears? No. He's got one, though. I'm just gonna leave them be, I think. I'm just kind of curious if there's a Korok up here. I think I may have mentioned this before, uh, maybe in the last episode or two, but there are 900 Koroks in this game. I will not be collecting them all. I'll be collecting a fair amount of them because I need them for upgrades, but definitely not going to be collecting 900 of them. Uh oh, are we going to make it? Ooh, oh, there is a Korok. Look at that. If we can make it. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh my gosh. Can I jump? Oh, nice. Woo. Yeah. Yeah, ha -ha. Wow. Look at this world. Here's a... Uh, let's put a marker. Yeah, so I've only got one marker. Here's where we're headed. To seek out Impa. And the king told us to go... Head for the dueling peaks, and then... I think he said head, like, east or north or something. Oh, check it out, a chest. In this old burned down house. A Korok leaf? No, thank you. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, we stumbled upon an enemy camp! I'm gonna switch to my good bow. Let's see if he'll turn around. He looks like he's pretty suspicious of me. I didn't realize he was here, so I was making quite a bit of noise. Let me see if I can just... Pink. The archers almost always have arrows. But now that we're here, let's take out the rest of them. Bam! Wow. There was peace and everything in there. Let's see what these guys had. A bunch of boko bats. Don't care about. There was a maybe a decent looking sword. Oh, a soldier's broadsword? Yeah. Let's get rid of this. There's no chest in there. Kind of surprising. Let's see if we can get some arrows. Sweet. So I guess what uh, the most obvious thing to do would be to uh, kind of go up this path here and then jump to the tower. Let's see if we can maybe murder these guys in their sleep. Uh oh, we have an archer up there on the lookout. I don't know how we would not be seen by that guy. Sneak up on an enemy and unleash a melee attack to do some major damage. Uh oh. So we've got two on the ground asleep, and then that guy. A headshot from here would be hard. Ooh, there's actually three on the ground asleep. I can't tell if I'm too far or too close. Oh, I got him. Oh, my God. Oh, let's sneak attack these guys then. Quietly. Got him. Let's uh, switch to a stronger weapon just to make sure that we actually get him in one hit. 
Wah. Nice. One more. Oh, no! Got him. That was pretty sweet. Let's see what kind of loot they had. Oh. It's a Traveler's Claymore, which I think is a 10, and I've got the Soldier's Claymore, which is a 20, so nah. I really just don't like two-handed weapons, guys. That's... That's the bottom line of it. I thought that I saw... Ore? Here it is. Flint and opal. It's a good idea to pick up as much ore and rupees as you can on your way to Kakariko Village. Because they've got some armor. Oh, hey. What's this? Wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm going to figure out my buttons here. What in the... Here we go. A spear. I kind of want a spear. What can I drop? I think I'm going to drop this. All right. All right, who is after me? Oh, my gosh. Ow! I missed. Might as well get rid of this guy. So they'll leave me alone and I can climb this tower in peace. Pretty sure I can just jump these and make it. Then we'll rest. Oh yeah, this one's kind of a short tower. The first, uh... The first tower out in the real Hyrule. Beautiful. Oh, we're gonna be doing this tower. I think it's about to be sunrise. Just look at that landscape. Although I guess the view is kind of blocked by the mountain there. But the other direction. Scanning area. There's another shrine and then a tower way over there. Nice. Regional map extracted. Oh, additional functionality. So now we get the Sheikah sensor. So the sensor reacts when you're close to shrines that you have not yet visited. If you head in the direction where this, the reaction is strongest, you should be able to find the shrine. So that's a pretty neat feature. Although, Sheikah sensor now operational. The sensor indicator has been placed near the minimap. Search for shrines by moving in the direction of the strongest signal. So we'll get that little message when there's a shrine nearby. Which, and I mean, toward the beginning of the game is going to be like always, because there's 120 of them. Check that out. Tower over here. A view of Death Mountain. So yeah, this is the sound that you kind of will hear when you're near. Oh. 
almost missed. Actually, let's get the ore. Let's get this ore. Oh, come on. I don't know that I can. Let's try. I kind of don't like to use the bombs because they... They just create such a mess. Let's see if we can see where it goes. Okay, that wasn't horrible. So you can see the sound is stronger as you kind of go more in this direction. But for the sake of, um, well, my sanity and yours, I'm going to disable this thing. Until I, like, really need it. If that day comes. Let's see if we can get this one. I don't know why. Man. Oh, is it just rock salt, though? Yeah. Where did you guys come from? Uh-oh. Barely made it back up. There's kind of a lot of enemies and stuff if you follow the actual path right through here. And this, is, I think, is where I was saying that there's a cooking pot, I think, under that thing. But, uh, there's also some Lazalfos that live in this river. But if you stick up here to this path, not only do you get a lot of ore, but you can bypass all those enemies down there. And here's the shrine. How many does this make for us? Like... Six? I think. Yeah, we're on number... We have five, so this will be number six. Got a long ways to go. This shrine actually has a treasure chest in it that you do not want to miss. Timing is critical. That was easy enough. Oh, wow. That took forever to move. I was like, um, are we going? All right, this one's a little more tricky, but still not too bad. And here's the platform. I'm going to go ahead and just stand on it and wait. Easy peasy. And there's that chest. So first, let's get the orb into the thing. We give it a little flick. Oh, I missed. Not enough flick. Maybe just a little too soon. There we go. So if you ride the platform over here, we can't get to the chest. This is how you would exit the shrine. However, oh god, we uh, have these metal barrels down here that we're going to use as a weight. I don't think I can reach from here. Oh, I actually can. So you don't even have to go back, back over there. You can just stand right there, drop your barrel, run up here, get the chest. The Climber's Bandana. It may look like a regular bandana, but it's actually infused with ancient technology that enhances core strength to improve your climbing ability. So this gives you climb speed up. And with the amount of climbing that you do in this game, that is just, like, critical. And then we're just gonna... Which I actually can't reach it, but that's fine. We can do stasis. And then just shoot it a couple times.
There we go. I think we can go ahead and skip. Now that we've seen this dialogue a handful of times already. Another interesting thing about the monks, I was talking before how the monks on the Great Plateau, their hand gestures are kind of in the formation of the Triforce, if you pay attention to them. And I know that there are six other ones somewhere in Hyrule among the 120 that are in the game that um, they make the same sort of uh, hand gestures as the sages do in Ocarina of Time. I don't know which ones they are. That may have been one of them. I really don't know. But I do know that they exist. A traveler's bow. It's only a five. Let me see. I mean, these ones are used, so I guess let's get a new one. And I think there's a, a cobbling camp up here. Yeah, there is, but the, uh, the ledge that we are walking on kind of reappears right here, so I think I'll just take that. Oh, yeah. I should put my bandana on. Oh, yeah. Looking good. The bandana even already matches my shirt. I want gems, not blent and rock salt. I'll take some amber. Ooh. There's exploding or uh, fire barrels or whatever you would call these things, and I've got fire arrows. Let's go ahead and just because they have a chest and there might be like some ore or something in there. Let's use. Uh, he's a blue. I guess we'll use this. He might have a nice sword too. Yeah, he's got a soldier's broadsword. That's what I've got. So we can drop one of these other lame swords and pick up his. I don't want any of these. I don't want that. Let's see what we got. A boomerang. Its unique shape allows it to return after being thrown. It's an eight. I guess you could use it as a two-handed weapon. I mean a one-handed. I think it's a one-handed weapon. Let's trade. Is there any more ore for me? I think I saw one glittering up here. More amber. Okay, and then we've sort of made it to, like, the halfway point to Kakariko Village. This is also the easiest way to get into this shrine. These are, uh, like, spikes you wouldn't normally be able to cross. You uh, would have to just make a an ice cube to climb over or glide over like I did. Let's see what this one is. Hopefully we can have at least, um, how many orbs do I have right now? Two, I would assume. If we can find two more shrines before we get to Kakariko Village, we can do another upgrade when we get there. I'm Ha Dahamar. Dahamar. <laughs> the water guides you. Should be pretty simple, I think. Oop. Might have done that too high. There's a chest up there. Oh man, I might have. Oh, 
Hit man. Yeah. That didn't work. Okay. No. Let's try like one here and then right here. Oh man! Right off the edge. Oh, nice. Sweet. 50 rupees, I'll take it. Oh yeah, I remember this, okay. We want the orb to land in the uh, hole over there. So let's give it a bridge. Wait a minute. Do I want to do that? No. Let's stop it. We want to stop it. And then we we'll want to put one there. And then it still needs just a little bit of help here. So maybe about right there. Nailed it. Easy. That makes three. So then there's one shrine in Kakariko Village for sure. So we'll definitely get four by the time we make it to town. So we can do another upgrade. I'm pretty much going to stick with three hearts until we... Um, yeah, I guess you get hearts. You'll get hearts along the way. But all of my upgrades are going to be stamina until... I have a reason. Oh, look at these are lilies. I never noticed these. Yeah, it's stamina for me all the way. Oh, look at there's a Korok puzzle way up there. Beetle. Hey, I don't believe I've made your acquaintance. The name's Beetle, but you can call me. Actually, let's just stick with Beetle, but a, even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my beetle-shaped backpack. Yeah, yeah. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must-have items for travelers, and I always ch charge a fair price, or my name's not Beetle. <laughs> I also buy all sorts of things. If you're in need of rupees, gemstones in particular fetch a high ah, price. Ah. <laughs> Let's just see what he has... So these will give you a speed boost, and he's got crickets, which also give you oh, it's stamina. He's got arrows, but I'm trying to save my rupees. So... Thanks, but no thanks. Look at these colorful chickens. Oh. The guy at the stable said we could take those apples if we want them. Well, don't mind if I do. Get some wood. Wow. How did that even happen? The crate just... It injured me. We could do... We could do a little bit of cooking. I can give you directions. I don't need directions. Mmm. I've got the scoop on Misko's treasure and it's great. Listen up, Dak. Oh. Kristen, hang on. Hey, buddy, what's your problem? You aren't being incredibly rude by listening to our conversation, are you? 
We're treasure hunters on the trail of our latest score, the treasure of the great band at Misco. It's as good as ours. Uh? Prison, you're gonna give it all away. Uh. Sorry, Dak, I got carried away. Anyway, we're busy here, dude. If you need something, take it up with someone else. Oh. You again? Pay no mind to my little bro's chatter from before. He's got a penchant for running his mouth with crazy talk. So, Misco's treasure? Ah, shoot. Well, can't say I didn't try to throw him off. Ah. Hey, Dak, why don't we just tell him? Maybe he'll leave us alone if we do. I mean, if we can't figure this riddle out, there's no way someone like him will be able to. Ah. That's a good point. We're after nothing less than the treasure of Misco, the great bandit. Finding it would mean incredible riches. I'm not about to give this information away for free. I'm no fool. Oh. That's the keen sense of the strongest treasure hunter at work. No gold left behind. Not by Dom... Not Domin... Da, Domadak? Whatever your name is. That's your great Dak. Oh. A hundred rupees just for the secret? I don't even have it. Whatever. What do you think of this place? Pretty nice, yeah? It might be hard to imagine now, but this place was nearly destroyed about a hundred years ago. However, thanks to the blessings of the dueling peaks, everything is full of life again. Even the wild horses are back. There's a lot of energy in this place. So where are you headed? Both Kakariko Village and Hatino Village are nearby. Wild horses? Huh, did you not see any horses on your way here? Certainly not as many as in years past, but there are still quite a few around. Horses in the wild are, well, wild. No one is trained or cared for them. If you manage to catch one, let my brother Tassarin know. He'll register the horse for you. My boys are wellsprings of information about horses, so feel free to pick their brains. Leave it to Rinsa to tell you about the roads around this area. Um, I think we're good. Hmm. Everything looks just as it always has, but the effects of the great calamity still linger. For example, a lot of monsters come out at night, so be careful when the sun sets. I kind of want to get up there and try to get this Korok if I have the stamina for it. Let's see. I guess let's climb up the main trunk. Is that what you would call this? It's kind of a... Oh, I don't know if I can. I can't get up. How would you climb this? Maybe I just can't. Yeah, there. I think maybe it was because I was jumping. This is a giant horse's head. It's inter an interesting design, but also kind of strange. Are there two? Yeah, ha ha. Oh. Oh, okay. Interesting. That was it. I thought it was gonna be uh, a target one. So there are horses over there. Let's go grab one. That'll make the journey a little faster. The horses in the game do have different stats. So the ones that are painted or multicolored they have um, lower stats in the ones that are solid colors. But they're all sort of facing the wrong way. I need to sneak up from behind. So, guys, you're going to have to move. Oops. I want the, the dark gray. I think they're probably going to get spooked at this point. He looks like he's suspicious. He's got his head in the air. Uh-oh. No, go away. No, go away, guys. Wow. Are they blind? Aha. Which one? L, okay. Oh, no. Oh, did I get him? Ooh. Wow, that was close. I was... I opened my menu thinking, like, I'll, um... 
drink a stamina potion, but I don't have any. So we got our first horse. Look at him. He's beautiful. Let's go. Let's go see what kind of stats you got. Oh, four um, spurs. It's actually not horrible. Calm down. You got to soothe him. At first, when you first get a horse, they're kind of they're kind of unruly. It's going to cost 20 rupees to stable him, though. Um, stop moving. Hi. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. Ah, I haven't seen your face before. Do you know about the stable system? Uh, yeah, we know about it. Well, then let me start hey. over. Welcome to our stable. If you've come with a wild horse, you can register it with us. Or if you want to stay for a rest, please head over to the counter inside. So let's try and register our horse. Hmm? So strength is a one, speed is a three, stamina is four. What are we going to name him? Oh. Let's just name him Gray. Ah. Because he's gray. Oh, wait, no. Darn it, I hit the wrong button. Oh. Your registration is complete. Would you like to take your new horse with you? Yeah. Oh. Thank you, we'll see you next time. Mm. Oh, and by the way, if you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it'll come running. Okay. But your horse is a magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away. So do keep that in mind. Yeah, unlike uh, previous Zelda games, your horse is not magic like Ipona. What does this guy have to say? Hmm. Oh, sorry. You didn't note. I didn't notice you. I was a bit lost in thought there. I've been doing rigorous research day uh, and night to figure out the mystery of that blood moon. Blood moon? You don't know it? That's inexcusable. Listen up and I'll tell you about it. For a hundred years now, every so often when the clock strikes midnight, the sky turns red and a full moon rises. And at that moment, monsters uh, that had been previously defeated will come back to life. Huh. And that's what is known as the blood moon. Why do the monsters return to life? Why does it only happen when the sky turns red? No one really has the answers to those questions. It's a mysterious phenomenon. Whoa. If you learn anything about the blood moon as you travel, be sure to come back and tell me. Blood moon, we haven't seen one of those yet. Okay, calm down. When we registered the horse, it said that the bonding level was only a 16. So it'll keep kind of doing this and kind of being unruly until until you get your horse bonded all the way to 100. But we'll figure it out. Here's a chest. An opal. Link is so fancy. Basically, when the horse starts to do any of this, like, if you're um, trotting like this and he slows down, just make him do it again and then sue them and then he gets it. It's like training a dog, you know? Also, I love the music that plays when you ride a horse. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> we just freaked that guy out. There's a Korok puzzle. Where did he go? Did he dive into the river? Or did we kill him? Oh, there he is. What a bright sunset. If you're looking to head toward Hatino Village, just cross the bridge and head to the east. I'm selling a few things I picked up in my travels. Doesn't cost to look. Yeah, but I don't want to. All right, so that is the target. This rock circle, and honestly, I kind of find it easier to put a little ice block. 
right about like that, and then just try to line it up and throw it. All right, so we got to go straight on. Oh, oh, what happened? Oh God, that was unfortunate. Oh man. Oh, hey, look at this. Is a shield? Oh, it's pot lid. And there's a chest. Well, it's not what I meant to do. Ice arrows. But I guess I'm not mad about it. Let me uh, eat something, though. Let's just do a bunch of apples. Okay, take two. I guess I'll try not to get so close to the edge. And, uh... Oh, I'm not centered on it. Like... Yep. Wow. Straight ahead. Womp. I didn't even hit the ice block. This is going to be bad. Wow, I'm not even hitting the ice block. Why? I might need to move the block. Alright, we're going to... Straight on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Get that block out of here. Let's try like... A little bit closer. I'm running out of rocks. We might have to come back to this one, honestly. These ones are tough. Got it. I just had my block too far forward. Yeah, ha ha! Sweet, now we got nine seeds! Gray! Come on! Oh, we got some loot! Blue nightshade. Here's some herbs. There's some ore. When we get to town, I'm gonna have to do a bunch of cooking. There's a traveler. Rock salt. Lame. That's not what I want. Opal. Armoranth. It's... Durable yet flexible fibers raise your defense. All right, Gray. Hi. We're going to be the best of friends. Should we grab the herbs? Looking for any more ore, but I don't see any. Oh, perfect! Let's talk to this guy. Wait for me, Gray. Shalaka! Shalaka! You! You can see me? I can see you. Shalaza Shalaka! It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. They're blue guys. I think they're still on the other side of those rocks. I can't use my powers without them, Shoko. So please, please get my maracas back from them. Is this our first side quest?
Okay, we'll help this guy out. And then... This will be a good way to end the episode. I think they're sleeping, so let's sneak attack them. Um, in fact, they're blue. Let's use our better sword. There's three and no lookout. And strike. One down. And strike. See if I can get the last one. And sleep forever. Nice. There's a lame shield, a lame buckle bat. So let's break this open. My sledgehammer is barely da or badly damaged. Hestu's maracas. He's been shaking them since he was two years old. <laughs> That's funny. I've never read that before. Or if I have, I forgot. All right, Hestu. You got your maracas. Oh, look, a beetle. Oh, and oh, man, I scared the lizard away. Darn it. Shalakala, those are, those are my maracas. Please give them to me. Shalaka. But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? If I had just one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion, so let me know if you find some Korok seeds. Well, I've got them. I never thought I'd be the target of one of their pranks, Shoko. Sniff. But wait. Sniff, sniff. Do you have a Korok seed? You do. You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you'll give me just one Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. So which stash do you want more slots in? Weapon stash. Oh, yeah. Shaky shaka. <laughs> I love Hestu. He's hilarious. Yay. Da, 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 da. Your weapon stash has been expanded, Chalaka. I still smell Korok seeds on you. Want me to expand your inventory again? Chia. And it increases every time. So now he wants to... I'm never skipping a Hestu dance, by the way. They're just too fun. Let's see if he'll do another one for me. I've got more seeds. Oh, look at the time. I need to get back before Grandpa yells at me, Shoko. Sorry, I have to go, but I still need Korok seeds, so bring some to Korok Forest if you find any. So that's it. He won't do any more for me. But at least I got two. All right, well, that was a great way to end the episode. So up next, uh, we're almost to Kakariko Village. We'll be talking to Impa in the next episode and exploring Kakariko Village. So drop by next time for more. I'll see you there. Goodbye. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you gotta do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time for more.